generally across India. What do you think the other attributes that will shift a team from best of breed to high performing teams? So first, teamwork is far more important than individual contributions. And you can actually build above average contributors into high performing teams. And therefore, if you really have huge individual contributors that actually create high performing leadership teams, then you, you've got an absolute winner at hand. So the importance is where are the stars? The star is the team, not the individual. The next point is then there must be a common direction, whether it's through the purpose, the vision, the objectives. But you raise the issue of alignment. Strong alignment means strong results. Now, alignment means commitment and not consensus necessarily. You can get consensus up to a point, but it's really about making sure that there is commitment. I think one of the things that I learned from a great leader that I had the opportunity to work with is that as a leader, he would take the decisions or make the decisions, but the team felt that they had taken the decision. The team felt the onus was on them in a very positive way. So they went away thinking that this decision was actually taken by them. And that is where alignment comes in. Of course, then we have a whole lot of communication at different levels that needs to be done, meaningful dialogues, so that trust can be built. But then coming again back to the best of breed to a high performing leadership team, we must at the end of the year, at the end of six months, help reflect each one of the players that what was the performance as an individual and what is the performance versus a team. And if one can keep focusing on the team, the chances are the mirror will reflect and the person will make that transition. Of course, then there are mentoring programs, there are coaching programs to provide the guide to each one of the best of breed so that they can move towards high performing team attributes rather than just remain as individual contributors. And then we strongly believe that, you know, organizations today and the workforce generally follows in the shadows of their leaders. And so uh, that that change management and everybody says change starts at the top or starts at the bottom. But I think there's an element of the shadow that our leaders cast becomes important. If the organization, the workforce is going to follow, yes, that's one component, but it also is as important. What is the shadow that the leaders are casting? Is that an individual shadow? Is that an aligned shadow? Is it that the team shadow? And I think that becomes extremely important as we start communicating and talking to our employees and conveying the vision, the purpose and the mission that you have.